Taking the field, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Mario Fennec leads them out. Craig Coleman, Les Davidson. What a power pack it is. Wayne Chisholm, a late replacement for Darren Brown, the second rower. Adam O'Neill gets his chance in first grade again. He'll be looking to make everything a winner. The lineup at fullback is Scott Wilson on one wing, Adam O'Neill, Steve O'Day in the centres, Terry Hill alongside him, Charlie Saab in at 5'8, the front row, Andrews, Chisholm and Carroll in the second row, Fennec, Sedaris Davidson, coach George Piggins. Mario Fennec leading the team out, and what a game he'll be looking for today. The Bulldogs led out by the mercurial, mercurial Terry Lamb and David Gillespie, the hulking second rower just behind him. Terry Lamb just walking out steadily. He's not going to race out there. That shows the control that Canterbury are looking for today. At fullback, Jason Alchin, the three quarters, Robinson, Farrah, Corcoran and Raymond, Lamb and Moore, the halves. The lock forward. The very experienced Paul Langmack. The second row is Gillespie and Dunn, and that's front row. Pay and Peach, just 20 years old, broken shear, making up the front row. Coach Chris Anderson. The referee, Greg McCallum. Everything in readiness for the start of this big match. And we're underway. Kicked straight down the centre of the field and quickly gathered in there by Mark Carroll, former Penrith player with the Rabbitohs this season, looking to make a big impact. Early results in under 21s, a win for Canterbury, 22-14. Turnover of possession here with the uh, Bulldogs. And a bit of a dust-up in the back play as well. Gillespie in there, so is Fennec. Touch judge on the field, play goes on. So Canterbury in possession, 20 metres out. Lamb in at uh, dummy half, out it goes to Moore, picks up Langmack. The penalty goes against, uh, well, we'll just wait for McCallum, he's calling out a player. He's going against South Sydney. And it's Les Davidson about to be cautioned. There was an incident in the back play, but that wasn't what caused the uh, penalty. Sedaris getting a pass away. That was the loss of the possession. The penalty goes to Canterbury, right in front of the posts. Terry Lamb has scored over a thousand points in first grade for Canterbury Bankstown. Any moves, right in front. And the flags are up. So Canterbury Bankstown hit the lead after just three minutes of play, and they lead South Sydney 2 0. Scrum win to Canterbury. Lamb cuts across field, but Saab rounds him up. We thought there would be an interesting battle between Terry Lamb, the Terrier, against the fairly bulky figure of Charlie Saab. It has been a good battle so far. Alchin looks to get the pass away. It's gone loose. Coleman picks it up. Sedaris. Farrah takes him, ball and all, a healthier tackle this time. Hill, Hill, the replacement centre, coming in with the withdrawal of Blake, or the dropping of Blake. Coleman, Saab, Wilson gets it out to O'Day, Adam O'Neill leaves it behind, regathers, but lost the opportunity. Moore, O'Neill still going, just short. Good recovery by O'Neill, but he's just a metre short. South's on the attack. Coleman, what's it? He's rounded up by Langmack, gets it back to Davidson. On it goes. Saab holds it up. Desperate defence. Nine metres out, right in centre field. Fennec, Coleman, long pass, out to Sedaris. Sedaris keeps it alive. Hill. Hill, nine metres short still. It's the fifth tackle. From dummy half goes Lyons. Lyons back inside to Hill. Hill gets it down in the corner. Great bit of thinking there by Lyons and Hill. And South Sydney have scored the first try of the match, and they lead four points to two. South Sydney stringing the passes together to work themselves into this position, applying the pressure, but then quick thinking by Graham Lyons at dummy half. He went himself, Hill realised it was on, supported him on the inside. Great pass, and the South Sydney defence, should say the Canterbury defence arriving too late. Look at Lyons, the pace of the man off the mark. Lamb comes in to try and save it with Raymond. Farrah can't stop the try, and Hill scores. There's no doubt about it. It certainly was a great pass by uh, young Lyons, but uh, young Timmy Hill, he really got low on this. This is the way to score the try if you're near the line. You're very hard to stop. Great try, Terry Hill. Terry Hill from Zetland in the South Sydney area. Captain of the New South Wales under-17s last year. Charlie Saab has the ball placed out very wide. Moves into it, hits it well. Good kick from Saab, straight between the posts. And South Sydney lead the Canterbury Bankstown, six points to two. 
On the South Sydney quarter line, They're just short of it. Alchin. Back to Peets. Tries to get his arms free, but Wilson drives in with the shoulder. Pay. He's knocked over. The South Sydney defence has been quite solid. Beats gets it to Moore. Dunn holds up the pass for Lane. Make good ball for Terry Lamb. Lamb sprinting for the line and he'll score. Great try to Terry Lamb. Nice ball to him. And Canterbury hit back with a good try to level the scores at six all. A couple of nice passes there. Put Terry Lamb into the gap. Alton has been up in the play. There's Dunn. Little ball to uh, Langmack, but he then passes it out to Terry Lamb, who hit the gap on the burst. That was the secret. There's no doubt about it. There's some short passes here. There's some great short passing. And yeah, Langmack puts Lamb right into the hole here. Great running onto the ball. Mario Fennick was trying to cut off Lamb, but uh, he was just too good for him. So Terry Lamb. What a great player he's been for Canterbury and West before that, but a Canterbury junior. 217 first grade games he's racked up. Lamb. 10 metres in from touch. Waved away though, and the score remains. South of Canterbury locked at 6 all. O'Neill plays it back. Coleman. Saab. Takes the tackle of Alton. He loses the ball, but the penalty has gone to South Sydney. The ball being raked out after the tackle had been affected, called held by the referee. Alchina was in first of all. No, definitely the tackle had been made. And I think it was Paul Dunn underneath. Paul Dunn stripping the ball, giving away a certain two points here. Now the penalties mounting against Canterbury, 8-4. Charlie Saab spent some time down at uh, the Golden Police Academy, and now he's a fully fledged uh, policeman. He has the ball placed. In he comes, makes no mistake, and Canterbury, I should say South Sydney, do take a well-earned lead. Eight points to six. South Sydney feed. Referee will have it again. Let's see if the ball goes in the middle. Well, close to it that time. It's a South Sydney ball. The scoreline so close. One wonders whether Phil Blake will come onto the field shortly. He looked pretty sharp in reserve grade. Coleman, Davidson behind Chisholm. Play on, Farrah towed it through. He's taken out by Carroll, and the penalty goes to Canterbury Banks down. Carroll coming in to tackle a man without the ball. I guess possibly wanted to tower five minutes in the sin bin. This could have possibly been a try had he not taken out Farrah. This is in a handy kicking position, and Canterbury. Through their skipper Terry Lamb have decided to try and pick up the two points to bridge the gap rather than go for a try. Flags are up. So Canterbury hit back. They're down now by just the two points. South Sydney 10, Canterbury 8. We've got 28 minutes of play remaining. Here we are. Looks like Blake will be thrown into the fray. Canterbury ball, Lamb out to uh, Alton, I should say. Now it's Lamb. Can't get away from Andrews. Canterbury down the end of the field where they don't want to be. Alton gets inside one. Now he unloads. Lamb meets Andrews. Moore gets it back inside to pay. Play going straight and hard as he has done all match. Moore, Langmack gets it out to Gillespie. Back inside is Raymond, but well read by Lyons. Lyons just stepped inside and waited for Raymond to run into his arms. Moore, long pass out to Lamb. Lamb goes forward. Alton, quick hands out to Farrah. Good work. Farrah stands. Moore is there again. Good backing up. Moore takes off now. Good pass, out it goes now. Back inside from Robinson. Moore springing for the line. Back inside, he has support, puts it on the toe. It's knocked over the touchline by Wilson. Good football by Kevin Moore. He had Corcoran inside, tried to link up with him. There's no doubt about it. He, uh, he's certainly a clever little player, Moore, here. He's some great short balls here. Draw the catching and drawing. He's certainly shown uh, shades of Barbar here backing up. He tried a little short kick. It was a little bit unfortunate. It was kicked down, knocked down. So uh, 
quite easily been a try there. Kicks tight head to South Sydney. And what a handy one too. That ball had been knocked over the touchline by South. Canterbury had every expectation of coming up with a scrum. They would have been 10 metres out from the goal line with six tackle. Instead, it's a South Sydney ball. Phil Blake on the field. And Wayne Chisholm has left the field having a rest. There's no doubt about this to whether Mario just lost the ball or whatever, but uh, have a look at this. There's, there's no doubt, the no, no, there's no doubt that Mario's taken a dive there and uh, George Piggins won't be very happy with Mario Bennett there. Well, I thought the, uh, the tackle flipping out his leg by Gillespie was fairly late. Oh, I disagree with you there. There's no doubt in my mind that he went for the con. And Greg McCallum, too, his credit didn't take it. Yes, have a look at David Gillespie here at the back of the ruck. He just pulls Mario's leg. Oh. I'll That's take it back, John. Just enough. <laughs> Terry Lamb sets himself, moves in. Hits it well. Straight between the posts. Lamb feeling no pressure. The Canterbury skipper gets on level terms with South Sydney. It's 10 all. Well, who can come home the stronger? These teams have been playing four-quarter football up until this match. This is 80 minutes. Two solid halves and it's been a very strenuous game plenty of effort involved in both sides game today Gillespie Alton backs up well Alton in the clear slips a pass back inside but it's gone loose he was looking for Pete's didn't quite uh, find his man didn't have the ball firmly in his hands as the pass was uh, slipped away from him and that's a blow for Canterbury because they were suddenly starting to find the breaks he certainly did well there, Jimmy Sedaris. He uh, made the tackle previously and then uh, fell on the loose ball. He got back and cut it. There's Sedaris again on the loose ball. <laughs> South Sydney has been called on to make 145 tackles. 32 more than Canterbury. Moore sends the ball on the blind side to Corcoran. Corcoran almost out of the tackle of Coleman. In fact, he finally did break loose, but O'Neill came over the top. Robinson, wrapped up by Carroll and also Fennick. Just Eight metres short of halfway. Just in the last couple of minutes, uh, Canterbury have busted South on numerous occasions. Nelson is looking particularly dangerous. He looks full of running. Peets goes to the line, then comes back. Gets a pass away out. It goes down to Lamb. Lamb in the clear, looking for support. Comes to Wilson. Spins away from him. No one there when he needed them. They were looming up, but not quite at his shoulder. Moore. Moore sees plenty of room on the outside. Farrah. Langmack. Back to Farrah. On it goes now to Elton. Elton sets sail. Flicks it out to Langmack. Has Raymond in the clear. Raymond for the line. Can he get it down? Yes. Raymond has scored in the corner. What a fine try for Canterbury. They hit the lead by 14 points to 10. Great hands to keep that ball alive, and Raymond made no mistake. Well, they kept the ball alive. Great pass out there to Lamb. Lamb found open spaces. As he came to Wilson, there was no one there. Moore not quite with him, but he managed to stand in the tackle. They knew that the chance was on out wide. They had the numbers. Langmack was screaming for it. Farrah to Langmack. He runs out of room, but gets it back. They keep changing the direction. Finally, it's Alton who slips a good ball away. Langmack handling for the third time in the movement. Raymond manages to just get away from O'Day, and he flings the ball down in glee. This was just a result of pressure. This is just keeping the ball alive. Some great backing up, great support play. Everyone getting involved and making themselves available. That's certainly a great Canterbury try. And Henry Raymond. Manages to just break free of the desperate O'Day tackle. That was a fair try. The ball bounced up in the air, but he firmly planted it. And Henry Raymond, Canterbury's Rookie of the Year in 1987. Now, this is another very important kick for Lamb, because if he can land this one, the lead will be six points. Very difficult for South Sydney to get back in the lead. He moves into it out wide. The kick is a good one, just fading wide of the post at the last moment. So the score remains. Canterbury Bankstown, 14. South Sydney, 10. Kevin Moore. Farrah steps away from one. Oh, poor pass intercepted by Sedaris. Hill 
Farah realized he was in trouble. He wanted to get the kick away and threw a poor pass. Saab. Still going is Saab. Has support. And there is Wilson. Back on the inside was Andrews. Wilson takes the tackle. But a chance now for South Sydney. Everyone massed on the right-hand side of the field. Blake slips it away to Fennec. Fennec is just three metres short. Canterbury on the ropes. They lead by four points. Blake in a dummy half. And the penalty has gone to South Sydney. And Corcoran, I think it is, is going to be in the sin bin. Corcoran, given ten minutes in the sin bin, he'll only be back on the field for one minute of the match. It'll be interesting here if you have a look at the replay whether it was Corcoran or uh, Langmack. I think Langmack had, no, had a lot to do with this slowing down the play the ball. South are going for the try. A quick tap. Right in front of the posts. Blake, Blake, Blake still going. Blake dives for the line. Held up. Phil Blake held up over the line. Desperate defence by Canterbury Bankstown clinging to this lead. Phil Blake. Phil Blake going in low. A great tackle by Kevin Moore once again. George Pickens has injected number 20, Daryl Trindall, into the game. Warren. Win against the head. Thanks, John. Win against the head for South Sydney. So Trindle on the field. Saab has lost the ball. I think uh, Greg McCullum's fire has become very ordinary there. I think he was entitled to give South a penalty here. There's no way at any time did Canterbury retire. Saab has played a great game, but showing his inexperience that time, he took his eye off the ball. It was a perfect pass, but he was looking straight at the man moving up on him. As Arthur said, uh, maybe that man was inside the fire, but that's not Saab's job to worry about. Well, how many let-offs can Canterbury have here in terms of retaining possession after they've handed it over? Corcoran comes in and he's lost the ball. Well, this is schoolboy stuff. It's worse than schoolboy stuff this last couple of minutes. Saab has it. Blake. Lyons. Can he get outside his wing? He goes back inside. Ducking. A Johnny Ferguson run from Lyons. Finally tackled, 23 minutes out. Very close to full time. Four points in it. Canterbury still leading. Dunn goes on with the tackle, surely. Referee says play on. Coleman out to Hill. Hill is tackled. Just outside the quarter area. Sadaris a dummy half. He stumbles and fumbles. I thought the ball initially came off his foot, but then his hands also knocked it forward, and he admitted the mistake. Well, Paul Langman feeling the pressure just like any of the younger players out there. There have been uh, two scrum wins against the head here. There's no doubt that Chris Hannes will be hoping that uh, Peach can win the ball here in this situation. Canterbury 14, South Sydney 10, penalty to Canterbury. Referee saying that South Sydney haven't come in parallel to the goal line again. He's unhappy with the front row. He awarded the same penalty in the first half. But it's a fairly unusual one. There's no doubt that Terry Lamb was just pressing to his players just to eat the tackle count up. Just play out the six. Alton wants to know uh, whether it's full time. It must be very close. Surely only seconds remaining. Canterbury had position. They must be able to play out time with six tackles here. Listen to the shouting going on amongst the Canterbury players. Don't let them pull out the ball. Just run from dummy half is the call. Kevin Moore goes in there. He ducks under Hill. He holds onto him. Hill will want to play the ball. Now it's Gillespie. They're just wrapping that ball up. It's as precious as a diamond. There's the siren. Canterbury jubilant. What a performance. They've come from behind. So... After a stirring struggle, South Sydney can count themselves unlucky, but Canterbury have won the second half and the game. They win 14 points to 10.